Hey guys, uh, Stacy here again. I thought I might bring you guys a nice little tutorial on how to build a decent elevator in Gary's Mod. Uh, there's a couple parts to it. You have your actual elevator, and you have where it leads to. And as you can see, I have a, I guess you could say, is that a stand? I don't know. Okay, I have a Gary's Mod contraption <laughs> and a platform on top of it with uh, a button up here to bring it up and once you're on it you can go back down by pressing it again and up here I just have a, a chair with a drink and uh, a nice reminder so there you go, elevator's here, just hop onto it press the button and away we go this is faster <laughs> alright so there's a couple ways you can do it I'm going to show you the way that uh, you can do it if you just want to build an elevator that goes to off the ground basically so all you have to do is go ahead and spawn a nice sized uh, flat object put it about that high off the ground go ahead go into no clip get out your hydraulics tool Right now I have my length set up to 400, my speed at 40, and rope width at 3. It's make sure fixed is checked. Um, 400 length is about as high as a 1 by or 2 by 8 Phoenix plate. So we'll just use this to see how close it is. There we go hydraulics. Now we're gonna go into here, and at the four corners, we're gonna aim where we want it and right click. That'll make a hydraulic straight across the prop to whatever it hits next, which in this case is the ground. If you uh, left click, you'll have to click twice and you'll end up with something like that, which is no me gusta. So just go ahead and right click where you want it. There we go. Go ahead and unfreeze your prop. Make sure your key that you put is uh, actually a key that you have. I'm going to hop on here and I'm going to press my key. Here we go. If this is too slow for you, all you have to do is adjust your speed. Right now I'm at 40. And this should stop just above it. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty close. It looks uh, maybe 50 or 75 off. So. But here we go. That's uh, good enough. Go ahead and freeze your elevator as high as it is. Uh, get out your stacker tool and stack it in the direction you wish. I do twice. If you have weld prop selected, get out your weld tool and press R on the center prop. Make sure it's frozen first or it will fall. After you press R, go ahead and weld what you just unwelded to your other prop. Unfreeze your elevator, press your key, and your elevator moves back down. So this way you have a floating platform with an elevator leading up to it. So if you want to make like a, a sky fort or a base or something, all you have to do is make your elevator first and you can build off of this platform. Right now this is really basic. It'll work only for you since you only have the numpad on your keyboard. If you want other people to use it, you need to do a button, which is really simple. Just make sure the key to emulate is what your, your key for the hydraulic is. You can give it a description like Let's go up. ASD's cool. Yep. <laughs> you can put it on the ground next to it, or you could put it on the actual elevator. I'm just going to put... I'm going to change my model. Right there. It's going to come up. I'm going to put this on the corner right here. There we go. And there you go. Now, I think, yeah, it's kind of colliding with here, so I'm going to go no collide. No collide. No, no, no. There we go. Alright, now all you have to do is add on and do what you wish to your elevator. So, I'm going to do like I did over there. Let's see, where's that chair at? Office chair. Uh, this time, let's get some gasoline because <laughs> that's why I like to drink let's go to wire and get a text screen let's go ahead and change the message here
thank you. Here we go. That's pretty much the, the simple way to do it. But if you already have something set a certain height, now I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Let's say you have a platform already built and you want to make an elevator up to it, and you don't want to have to just guess all the time to see how high your elevator needs to be. You can. If I can find my props. Here we go. Let's say I want it uh, this high. It's kind of high. Um, go ahead and put something equal level to it. So I'm just going to step it over. Now I'm going to go into wire for this one. Uh, I'm just going to get a hydraulic, a wire hydraulic. Uh, I'm not going to actually use the wire hydraulic, but I'm just going to see how long or... Oops, need to right click. Let's see how far it is. And right now it's telling me it's 937.64. So I'm just going to round that up to 938, since it always goes down, 938, since, oops, I hit my mic, <laughs> since we're going higher, I'm going to double the speed, I'm going to remove that hydraulic, and I'm going to put a slider on this, right click so it goes all the way down, Un undo all the welds to it by getting out my weld tool and pressing R. Fall to the ground. Oh! That's why I said don't use sliders for your elevator. Nope. Nope. No. No. Okay. Go ahead and undo that slider. <laughs> of course. Alright, here we go. Same thing. Put it on the four corners. I think you could also use a ranger for what I did with the hydraulic, but I'm more familiar with the hydraulic than the ranger, so I just went ahead and used that. Let's see here. There we go, and this might go a little bit higher than the platform, but you can adjust that just by bringing it down two or three. Almost there. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. That's definitely a lot more accurate than just taking a wild guess and having to end up way down here, or way up there. <laughs> so, there you go, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can use elevators as lifts, but they tend to spaz out when you have something like a Jeep on them. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, there you go, that's pretty much your basic elevator. Uh, hope you guys like this. There should be more Gary's Mod. Whoa, whoa. Hey, trampoline. <laughs> there should be more Gary's Mod tutorials by uh, me and Wolf coming up along with Homefront. And uh, we're working on Battlefield footage right now. And uh, I'll see you guys later.